Hey everybody, it's Maya and today we are back with another Ipsy unboxing and this time we are unboxing the bag of June so I'm very excited and let's just jump right into it. So I just came back from my vacation, um, I went to Six Flags, I'm kind of feeling that post vacation depression right now and I'm just not feeling myself because I just spent the past three days, you know, with my fiance going from my king bed to like my small twin size bed it's just getting to me and my voice is like gone because i was screaming on all the rides we're just going to jump right into this and instead of reading the prices and all of that at the end of the video i am going to get into it now so this is june's bag very cute but one of the first products in here is by girl lactic perfect pair eyeliner duo this is the box this is two eyeliners, and they are both in the shade Pure Brown, which, if you guys know me, I only like to wear brown eyeliner or any eyeliner that is not black. I do not like it being too dark on my eyes. I like brown because it complements it just fine. But it comes with a gel eyeliner, and it comes with a pen. But this is the marker. Looks like a brush tip to me. Or it's a felt tip, but swatch that. That's the brown marker. And then you have the gel, which reminds me a lot of the ColourPop eyeliners. And that's the gel. Doesn't seem to be moving at all, so passes that test. I will let you guys know if this smudges throughout the day. Um, later when we try the stuff on, but I will try to leave comments about the wear test later. This goes for $39. That's pretty expensive. About $19.50 per eyeliner. That's a little on the pricey side. I probably wouldn't pick that up. Next product in here is by Siate London. It's the Everyday Vacay Coconut Dewy Setting Mist. This is the bottle can't wait to use this later it is $22 so next product in this bag is by VC collection and it's a blush in the shade papaya that's funny um, my sister always calls me Maya papaya so that's very cute looks like this and it seems to be a liquid blush I would mistake that for a lip gloss to be honest but, ooh, so it's more of a corally, peachy shade more than anything. So, really excited to see how that looks on my cheeks later today. And this could not come at a more perfect time because I've been wearing peachy blushes, like, this whole time. So, that blush retails for $10. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Can't wait to try that. The next one is by Yensa, and it's a Super 8 Vibrant Silk Lipstick in the shade Free Spirit. This is the box, and it's talking about superfoods. It has a whole bunch of superfoods in it, like a bunch of oil, so I'll oh, push out. Okay. My fiance was playing with this the other day. And he really destroyed the top. I didn't do that. He did. <laughs> it's fine. But this is the color swatched. It's like a pinky peach sort of color. And it goes really well with that blush. So I'm really excited to try that out later. And that retails for $28. A little bit on the expensive side as well. We have a brush set that I already took out of the packaging. These are Miss Glam or S Miss Glam, and it's very cute. I like these brushes a lot. It's called the Rainbow Lux Set, and it retails for $60, which is pretty expensive, but they're really, really soft. I don't really see myself using this brush because I wouldn't use it for blush. I will today, but I typically wouldn't. Uh, the eyeshadow brushes, I have so many of these. And this brush is the only one I see myself actually using because I don't own anything like it. 
It just looks like a nice powder brush, which I, I've been dying to own one of these powder brushes. And the final product in here is an eyeshadow palette. I Real Her Dream So Big palette. And, ooh, it is a pinky nude palette. Very, very, very pretty. I definitely see myself using this. And it has a really nice size mirror in here. And it retails for $28. So it's not too expensive. And it has nine shades. This is a really simple palette. But I do see myself using it. I love pinks. So, yeah, it's funny. All these products have very similar tones going on. The, eye the eyeliner is brown. The blush and the lipstick or peachy and the eyeshadow to palette is more pinky. So I feel like this will make a really nice pretty look together. Before I put on my foundation, usually what I what I do is I will spray my face with my Rose Glow setting mist that I always use. This one right here. It's a dewy setting mist. However, I'm gonna try out the Ciate London dewy setting mist as my spray today before I put my foundation on just to see if it actually makes my skin set for makeup so let's see ooh damn it smells really really coconutty and I'm like soaked so I'm gonna take my sponge and just pat that into my skin just to soak up the excess a little bit faster. I usually like to do this before I put my makeup on because even though I get oily throughout the day, I do prefer to have a dewy base more than anything. So yeah, I will put my foundation and concealer on and I'll be right back. All right, so this is me with foundation and concealer on. As you can see, all of that dew kind of just like disappeared. I mean, I did use a, I used the um, Fenty Skin Tint and that is definitely mattifying. But, I mean, I do still have a glow from within, but I'm not like soaked like I was. So, I'm curious. I'm going to use this as, as a setting spray today. Now, we're just going to go in with the blush. The blush again is by YC Collection and it's in the shade Papaya. It is a liquid blush, and I think I'm going to use a sponge with it just to be safe, I guess. So I'm going to do two dots, and I'm going to take my sponge. Usually I use a brush for these things, but I will do a sponge on one side and a brush on the other. It's very natural looking. I wouldn't, I'm going to apply a little bit more. But first, I'm going to do this side with a brush. And I'm going to take that new powder brush and use this. This is not typically a blush brush that I would use either, but I do want to test them out. Both sides seem to have, well the brush side seems to have a little bit more pigment, but I think I prefer the sponge side because it adds a little bit more dewiness to the cheeks. Take my little sponge again and just add some more because I'm not going to go on with bronzer today. I'm just going to focus on using some blush. Bring that up along my face as well. Same with this side. I think I'm just going to do a swipe because the dots didn't seem to transfer over that well. The swiping motion seems to work a lot better. Even though I have a real sunburn, I still like to mimic a sunburn on my cheeks with makeup. That is really pretty. I like that a lot. And I definitely prefer to use a sponge with that more than anything. So that seems to be it for the cream products. So I'm going to set my face really quick. And I'm going to take this new powder brush and just pick up my powder. And yeah. I like this shape. It's like a beauty blender. Because I always apply my powders with a sponge and I sometimes want to use a brush but I 
never have like the right brush for it so i think that did a fine job of powdering my face so i like that brush i'm gonna pick up one of the eyeshadow brushes i'm gonna pick up the thickest one and i'm just gonna start with desire over here it's like a pinky color i'm gonna pull you guys in And then I'm just going to take a little bit of Imagine, which is this brownie color. And I'm going to put some of that into the crease. And this is the um, Precise brush. Just to create a little bit more of a depth to my eye. I like this brush though. I don't really have a brush this shape, so I will be using this one a lot. And then I'm going to take the flat eyeshadow brush and I'm going to take Envision which is this shade right here and I'm gonna put that oh damn damn I I'm gonna take that all over the lid that is really pigmented which I like damn it's a lot of powder I love a super pigmented you know light shade because I love doing that fake cut crease it looks really good, so I'm going to take the same brush and I'm going to take Ambition, which is this middle pink shade, and I'm going to focus that on the outer corner. I'm going to take that on my finger to see if I can, yeah, my finger works a lot better. I'm just going to focus that at the outer. And then I'm going to take dream which is this very light shimmery color in the palette as well i'm gonna pick that up on the same brush and do that on the very inner corner and connecting that with the pink one yeah i like this look i don't really play around much with eye looks too much it's nothing special it's just a quick look next i'm going to go in with the eyeliners now and i want to use both of them in a way so i'm actually going to take the gel liner put that in my waterline i think that looks cute i'm not going to do any more than that though because my waterline is very very you know watery <laughs> now i'm going to take the marker and i'm going to do a wing with that it's like shorter, so it's kind of hard to use, but... I don't think it's a brush tip. I actually think it's a felt tip. It's a little much. It's actually... a lot. Um, but it is matte, it seems like. I just did too much. I mean, it looks, it looks normal. I'm just not used to the under eye situation, but the eyeliner looks really pretty. Um, it's definitely a matte brown. Um, I typically don't do wings this big anymore, but I mean, it looks fine. So yeah, I'm going to do my brows really quick. Okay, mascara's on as well. Eyes are looking a little bit more bold than I had expected because I did such a beautiful neutral look on the lids and then my eyeliner. Mascara is kind of bold. Still looks good though, so I'm not complaining. Let's get into this lipstick now. I'm really curious to see how this goes. I'm just going to apply it, I guess. It's this shade again. And this it's Free Spirit, once again. I definitely see myself using this lipstick all the time. It's a nice shade and I'm just gonna dab it that's a really pretty color and the fat formula it's very creamy and smooth and yeah I'm probably gonna throw a lip gloss on top because I don't like how lipstick always gets crusty on me but that lip combo with the blush and the 
eyes looks really pretty together. It looks very spring and summery. And the final thing is the setting spray. As a setting spray. I'm just going to do a little bit like that. Because the mist puts a whole lot on you. And that added a dew to my skin. Thank God. Because I did not apply any highlight today. And I didn't want to for this exact reason. Because I wanted the setting spray to give me you know that I'm in love with all of these products I will definitely be using this spray I will definitely be playing with this blush some more gonna use those brushes the eyeliners lipstick will be my purse and the palette I will be using very much as well I love everything in this in this ipsy bag this month so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next week bye